so many mistakes made in this video. First, I had the feeds at 100%, spindle at 60%, and forgot to torque the lead screw after tightening it to around 4 foot pounds. So no wonder the part pulled out. Since it is better to learn from others' mistakes, here are some more I made. I should have had a part in the other side of the vise to better support the fixed jaw. The lead screw bolt is an inch too long, so I had to use a one inch long aluminum tube spacer, and it crushed under the load. I'll do this again when I have everything fixed, but the vise passed this test with flying colors as far as this mounting method being solid enough. The part lifted quite a lot on the last cut, but I think much of the problem is from the mistakes I mentioned earlier. Still, this is a bigger part with decent cuts using a 45 degree helix end mill, which does apply a lot of forces on the part. This was to test how well these vices work mounted this way, and it passed in all respects. Everything sounded stable, and if you look at the floor of the cut, it is nice and smooth. There are no signs of chatter or anything else to tell me the vise wasn't mounted well enough, so I am ha very happy with the results.